All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Talia, and I'm an intern here at Utah State University for the Office of Empowering Teaching Excellence. And today I'm going to welcome John Fisher to the floor, but he's from Utah Valley University. And so I'm gonna pass the floor to him and allow him to introduce himself and get started on the presentation. Okay, well, thank you so very much. And I hope I'm talking loud enough. And maybe I should shut the door here just quickly, just in case there's no outside. If there is, I'll get up and close the door. All right, that reminds me of a poem. <laughs> Get up and bar the door. Um, Steve Allred and I, uh, it's been uh, two years now. Uh, uh, we did a study on using wiki wikis in our online classes. And uh, really what I'd like to do uh, is, is report uh, that study. And so I am going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to give you uh, some of the information and some of the background about how to use wikis in your teaching. I'd like to, however, uh, get a report as to how many of you have used wikis in your teaching. And it looks like I've got about 50%. Uh, maybe there's only two people that have responded so far. I've got 50% used it once or twice and 50% who have used it never. Oh, now the, there's three of you that have responded. So now we're at 67% that never and, okay, back to 50%. Okay, 60%. I think that must be where at five people have responded to the, to the uh, mentee. Uh, um, uh, query the question on Menti. Well, we'll go with that. Let me see what, uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, we've got 50%, 7% saying once or twice and 43% saying never. So you have some experience in this. And so if you, as we go through this, would uh, would share some of your experiences, that would be great. And and we've got a, some time constraints. So let's, let's move on. I'm I, can, uh, I don't have quite enough screens in order to be in, the, I think, uh, the uh, share mode. So I'm going to use the editing mode for uh, so that you can see this. Well, uh, what are wikis? Uh, well, when we think of Wikipedia, of course, we're looking at the uh, largest uh, uh, use of the uh, user of, uh, of wiki, uh, the wiki approach or wiki software. And uh, um, although I'm not going to talk about uh, platforms that you can use, but Google Docs is a, is a good source of uh, doing uh, wikis. Uh, wikis are an approach that we, of course, use in order to be able to cl collaborate. And, and it's used uh, very frequently in business. Well, it's also used in, uh, in our uh, departments uh, even more uh, today, after uh, the COVID pandemic, than we did before, and uh, one of the primary uh, forms of uh, uh, using is uh, Google Docs, and so uh, it's an it's an application then of, of Wiki in the in the business world. Uh, but uh, in face-to-face uh, -face teaching. Um, I think it's used more frequently, and I didn't ask you to respond to that, but uh, I think it's used more frequently in face-to-face -face teaching than it is on, on online. I know it is. That's what the studies say. But interesting figure is that, uh, uh, and this is a 2011 figure, and it's probably even worse today, 62% of students use Wiki as a way, as a go-to place when they're beginning their research. and. And I don't know about you, but I even encourage my students to do that. Um, because, because of course they have footnotes there and a, and, and a source where they can actually draw from to begin their research process. Well, that's not using the wiki itself, although students, and there's been examples of uh, of where how teachers have used 
Wikipedia as the basis for student assignments, where they, in one example, they, uh, uh, the teacher required students uh, get a membership uh, in, in Wikipedia, and they could, uh, went through the process of developing policy statements or changing uh, policy statements that exist in different areas of, uh, of that they were uh, particularly interested in, in studying. Well, so what are the benefits then of wikis? Um, Yarbrough uh, suggests engagement, collaboration, learning from other students, group work, community building, critical thinking, reflections. You can see uh, the, the benefits uh, 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 maybe possibly uh, outweigh the uh, uh, disadvantages of Wiki. I don't put that up, the disadvantages of Wiki, um, but you can uh, see that Wiki, and, and maybe you can and maybe you can't see that, in fact, Wiki is one of those online learning tools that's suggested uh, by these, uh, this, this author, along with uh, so many other online tools like email, chat, and discussion boards. Dixon uh, says that student enga engagement is critical to student learning, especially in the online envir environment where students can often feel isolated and disconnected. And, uh, and so um, uh, wikis is, a, is, is one way then that we can uh, create student engagement. There are other tools that we use also online, of course. Here's a, uh, a comparison uh, that Bia Suti uh, suggests between online forums or discussions and wikis. Uh, and uh, I'm just wondering if, uh, um, what your preference is? I haven't uh, uh, done a s survey or allowed you to do a poll on that, but I would be interested in if you wanted to add to the chat, uh, you indicating what your preference is in terms of online forums versus um, versus, versus wikis. And maybe you don't know enough about wikis yet in order to be say, well, wikis uh, is, is better or not better as an approach for um, uh, engaging and involving students or achieving the kinds of things that you want to do in your in your classes. Uh, but you can see then uh, the advantages of both uh, online forums or discussions and wikis and uh, and and the um, end result. Uh, and now if you really want to be sharing ideas, uh, uh, this researcher suggests that sharing ideas, uh, that forums, discussions are better at that. Whereas, of course, if you're developing a common collaborative do document, uh, you can uh, uh, use a wiki. Uh, the discussion forum or forums are easier to access and, and uh, wikis require more time and more difficult to use. But they too, it doesn't mean that you can't use one, you, that you have to use one or the other. They're complementary tools. And they could, uh, as uh, he suggests, scaffold uh, your student learning. Well, in our research, what we did was uh, um, uh, uh, several of our classes uh, required Wiki as part of the class. And, uh, and so at the end of the class, we used an approach that's called DEAL, D-E-A-L, where we ask students uh, uh, to uh, uh, describe uh, what they learned in the class, how they learned it. And, uh, but we added a question about uh, these questions about, uh, about wikis. And uh, because they were involved in the wiki as one of the primary assignments in the class. And so uh, they looked at uh, uh, the, uh, uh, how the class wiki contributed to their learning. Was the, it helpful? 
uh, what we did was then analyze uh, after the class was over, got an I IRB approval and did an analysis after the class of their, re their responses. Did the students actually read the contributions of other students? It could have been a quantitative survey, but we chose to do an, uh, an interpretive uh, qualitative study as opposed to, and, and looked at the questions and did an analysis from that. Well, uh, what are some of the things that we found? Uh, students uh, in their responses provided uh, some of the many benefits of wiki exercises online. Some of the same benefits that uh, we discovered in the uh, review of literature, learning and knowledge acquisition. They found many that uh, wikis provided many different viewpoints. They, it, they encouraged collaboration, allowed sharing information, increased student involvement engage, and engagement. They uh, 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 provided a skill that could be transferred to the workplace. Uh, they allowed students to develop their own co content and they uh, uh, were able to use it to develop uh, common do uh, documents. It's a, when so many students uh, 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 don't like uh, group, uh, group assignments, uh, wikis provide an alternative way of getting groups to engage and uh, collaborating and working together. Uh, there are some challenges, uh, and, and I, we found that the primary, the main challenge uh, that existed in, in using wikis online was that uh, students hesitated to edit other people's work. Uh, one student said, for example, I felt it was not appropriate to add their, edit other people's work besides my own but there could have been a few adjustments made here and there. Another student said, I don't think anyone wants to edit someone else's work. We examined about, uh, or had about 25 students' uh, comments that we uh, examined as part of this, uh, as this study. And in fact, oh, uh, in this particular class that we looked at, only two people edited or made changes. I've also tried it in a graduate level class, and there's the same hesitancy among graduate students to uh, to edit other student uh, other student comments, other students comments, or other students' work. Uh, one student said, "I made a few changes, but I wish that I would have made more changes and got to understand the system." Another student said, "I was looking forward to seeing what other people thought about my work." Well, uh, we determined, in fact, we asked them, what would you suggest as ways of getting a greater participation in, uh, of students in the editing and in the wiki process? Uh, some students resisted the whole nature of doing wikis because they thought it was a, what a, a busy work type of a, of a, of a, of a project, the, uh, um, the literature suggests and what we got from what the students suggested is that you need to provide an orientation in a training session so that students uh, understand uh, that it's not just building a document that you're doing that. And the assignment that we asked specifically uh, these were students that are in the emergency services area in, in an emergency management class, a communications class, and we asked them to uh, uh, to uh, uh, develop a communications uh, a plan uh, that would be part of a, a crisis communications plan that could be used uh, by a uh, by a business and. Uh, uh, don't duplicate what someone else adds, add your own content, and go in and add, edit other people's uh, content if you would. Well, help students learn a new skill. Uh, these are the kinds of things that you uh, sh 
uh, could be and should be doing in this orientation and training session. Uh, so focus on the skill aspect of wikis, uh, not only the content as aspect. Focus on wikis as a skill building tool. Help students see the value of doing revisions and provide incentives for doing revisions, either as part of their grade or um, uh, uh, mostly that's the incentive that they suggested and that we would probably suggest too, that's that students get extra points or they, uh, or they uh, it'd be worked into the grading scheme. Help students gain a positive attitude about wikis. Well, that's uh, uh, pretty well what uh, uh, we found or uh, a, a simple study, uh, but with some interesting, interesting findings even, but it confirmed in fact, what, uh, what the literature uh, was saying. I, I'd like you to take a, a, a second now, and I'd like you to choose three words that describe wikis in online teaching. And uh, I think that you've done word clouds before. Oh, maybe there's nothing's coming up yet. Let me know if you can't uh, if you can't get this to this if this code is not working. It could be uh, that I'm not, not, not using the Mentimeter exactly right because I'm not getting any responses up to this point. Yeah, so the link that you have in the slide is the same link that was previously used. Oh dear. And so I think the code is the same exact thing. <laughs> oh dear, okay. I guess we won't do this. Thank you for letting me know. Um, we have a couple of minutes to, uh, to talk about uh, your experience. Uh, would someone like to? Uh, to there was some deliberation in the chat earlier. Elisa Taylor said that she made a comment about Wiki. Um, Elisa, you can deliberate on that if you feel like it. I was just making the comment that if, because it's a, a Wiki, it's, it's really public. And so students might be more willing to put more effort into their work if they know that it's going to be available to the public and be viewable. That might also be um, an explanation to why students didn't want to add, add other people's work. They might feel that they're not as knowledgeable sure. as the other person who was writing on the, the wiki. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, so it both has a positive or a negative aspect of it. Well, um, we're, uh, our time is about up and you've listened to me for uh, 20 minutes. I hope that it was worth your listening uh, to me. Our research has uh, been published in the Journal of Online uh, Learning uh, in September of last fall. So if you went there, uh, you'd be able to download a copy of that, uh, of that research. And, and, and of course, if you're interested in uh, in this, again, my uh, email address is uh, John Fisher. It's four o'clock. Is John Fisher at Utah Valley uh, at uvu.edu. Thanks again. All right. Thank you so much, John. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Um, just as a final reminder, please make sure to go and fill out that survey to give us a little bit of feedback. I posted the link in the chat. Um, thank you so much, John, and thank you everyone else for attending. Thank you. Yeah, okay. have a nice rest of the day. Thanks, everyone.